Hi, this is Dr. Michelle Wolford here, and I would love to introduce Brent Cesar. He's an incredible physical therapist, but during our summer wellness series, he's actually going to be teaching us about mantras. So why don't you, Brent, tell us what a mantra is? Well, um, mantras are a powerful tool that I use in my practice uh, that I teach others to use. Uh, an underlying uh, principle that I use when I work with patients is to empower them. Mm -hmm. So mantras are based on an idea that we have an inherent power within us that we can access. Uh, in mantras, you use sound or vibration to help elicit a healing response in the body. So it's really an energy-based treatment that you can use for yourself, and it, you can use it for any number of purposes. Mantras have been around for tens of thousands of years. From Buddhist traditions, Tibetan traditions, Sanskrit, you have such a tradition of, of mantras being used. And now, it's, uh, they've kind of been kept secret for a long time. And now we're being used more in even a traditional setting and traditional space. So TM, uh, in most recent years, has brought in mantras to become more popular uh, for just a way to calm the mind. Because we have such a, a society that very people are very stressed out, chronic stress. Everybody has low energy reserves. So it's kind of become accepted and now very well researched as a way to focus the mind. So there's just one component of mantras that just help use a word or a phrase or a sound to help focus and create a sense of well-being, centering, relaxation, balancing the nervous system, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> what I like to cater towards is um, in, in a practice, you get a feel for what some of these needs are, and then you teach them, I teach them a mantra to help uh, on a personal level connect in as part of their daily practice. So it's not like mantra typically isn't just, you just do this and that's all you do. It's actually part of a bigger sadhana or a bigger routine that you'll, you'll use to help focus your energies and attentions for well-being in some way. That well-being can be for, again, for peace of mind. It can be for increasing energy reserves. It can be for removing blockages, barriers. It can be for improving relationships. It can be for a number of reasons. Okay. Um, but that's basically what a mantra is. It's focusing the mind in a very specific way. Now, if you define mantra, mantra is broken down as mana means mind. Okay. And tra means protection or freedom from. So it's using the mind to free the mind, basically, oh. from barriers or blockages okay. is, is in essence what that is. Can you give us an example of a mantra? Sure. Okay. Uh, a very simple one that I use for a lot of people uh, that I suggest is uh, Om Shanti Om. Om Shanti Om. Om Shanti Om. Okay. Om Shanti. So Shanti is a Sanskrit word. Uh, most people can pronounce it. Some mantras are kind of long and complicated. It's a very simple one. Om uh, connects the energies along the, the body and the, the body-mind connection. And uh, Shanti means peace. So it's basically saying, uh, invoking a sense of peace into the body, into the mind. And so I use this for a lot of people who have, almost everybody actually, I'll start with something or a variation of Om Shanti Om because it's so simple and powerful. Okay. Yeah. So I can go Om Shanti Om and it could be my personal mantra and it could just help me instill inner peace throughout my day. You can. There's a, there's a whole method that you can use like repeating it a certain amount of times, a certain time of day, and that's okay. what we're talking about in the program okay. uh, and, and the talk. But yes, a very simple method would be to just start by saying Om Shanti Om silently or out loud. Okay. And whenever you feel a little bit of out balance, you, you'll connect in with the energy of Shanti. It's an energy-based language. It's not a meaning-based language. You'll connect to an energy of feeling of peace. It's okay. just inherent. Inherently okay. Shanti, anytime you say it or feel it, it is calming and centering. Okay. So yes, it's a, it's a simple practice. And there's a way to do a 40-day program, which is very powerful. You'll actually shift your inner energy dynamics and your mind to taking on a new level of peace if you do it for 40 days straight. Because it almost sounds like when you say the words, there's a vibration that happens inside of you, and then now you have this intention, and the combination really starts to shift your world around you and your internal space as well. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, there's actually physics behind it. Okay. It's not woo-woo science yeah. anymore. It's actually oh, physics. Great. There's resonance. Uh, there's entrainment happening. Uh, you're literally through frequency medicine, and there's a lot of treatments out there right now using frequency medicine. It's literally a sound frequency medicine that you can use for yourself. You don't have to pay $6,000 for a mat or something like that. You okay. literally can use it yourself to empower yourself in, in resonance, uh, vibration, sound healing. Okay, that's great. So Om Shanti Om, come join us to listen to Brent Cesar talk on mantras, the history of mantras, and the powers of mantras. Thank you very much. Come join us.